Hey guys, it's almost midnight and there's 8% left on the power walls and I'm gonna chicken out. I hate to do it, but I am flipping the breaker back on. I've never ran these things to zero. I would have done it tonight, but I know we're gonna lose power at probably like three in the morning and I don't want the alarm and everything else to go off in the house or I don't even know if it will, but I don't feel like experiencing that tonight or waking up, especially since it's freezing outside and I would like it slightly warm when I wake up in the morning. All right, flipping it back on, but this was a great test. We haven't done one of these in a while. So we made it from eight o'clock until midnight and we probably could have made it till three in the morning. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm joined by my two quarantine buddies, my beautiful wife Bianca, as well as our dog Snowball, who's taking maximum advantage of quarantine life. He's getting getting treated better than, than he ever has. He's loving it. But as you could see from uh, my update later that night, we did not make it through the night. And I'll go over some stats about the, um, the power wall, how much energy we were using, uh, at what state of charge we shut it down. But before we did that, I wanted to know from Bianca if she realized when I flipped the breaker that night. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have gotten away with it. So he would have gotten away with it if I wasn't watching TV. How did you know? What did it do? It turned off. But it turned Was it direct. Netflix? It, or internet? Or what was it? Was it direct TV you were watching? You know, I don't remember now what it uh -huh. was that I was watching. But the TV turned off, but it did turn right back on. So I didn't have to return the TV on or the cable box or if I was watching Netflix. I, did, I don't remember. I didn't have to do anything. It turned off and then it turned back on. Did the, like, so that's how you knew, but was it from the, the lights flickering? Did you no, see the flicker? there was no flicker. All right, so she didn't see the flicker. We got, we got that by. So next time I flip the breaker, I have to make sure she's not watching TV. Yeah. Oh. Otherwise you'll know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's your power wall useless fact of the day. If you wanna shut the power off to your home without your wife knowing, make sure she's not watching TV. Otherwise, she'll know. Just to go over some quick stats um, about the system. We shut the system down at eight o'clock at night um, and we turned it back on at 12 p.m. So we're off for a total of four hours. Um, we shut it off at a 34% state of charge. We have three power walls um, totaling 40.5 kilowatt hours. So when we shut our system down at a 34% state of charge, we had 13.7 kW left in storage in the batteries. So at 12 o'clock, when I turned the batteries back on, we were at an 8% state of charge on the batteries. The batteries had 8% left on them. So that means there was 3.24 kW left inside the batteries. So during that time period, from eight at night until 12, we used 10.46 kW of energy, uh, kilowatt hours. So we were using roughly 2.6 kilowatts per hour the home was pulling during that time. So really at the rate we were going when we shut it down, we had 3.2 for KW left, we probably would have had just a little over an hour left in the batteries. So we would have made it until roughly one o'clock in the morning before everything shut down in the house. So. Well, I have to say, yeah. it makes me feel any better. I didn't notice you getting up and going to turn the switch back on. So you were, you know, 
inconspicuous with that. I had no idea you did that until I saw your video. Can I tell you why you didn't know that I didn't get up? Why? Because I never went to bed. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hopefully this was helpful to you and just understanding more real world applications with the power wall. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel to get more updates on talking all things Powerwall plus storage. Uh, it's crazy times right now, but hopefully um, these Powerwall videos are helpful in understanding more about solar plus storage for your home. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye. Peace.